Hello my friends! Welcome back. Let's go get paid. Uh, also, I'm just wondering whether... Uh, uh, not this idiot. Oh, where are my glasses? <laughs> I'm like, I can't see! <laughs> I only need them for... Uh, for really long, long distances, so uh, I don't, I never wear them. In fact, if anything, they're a hindrance uh, uh, up close or like 10 meters away. Um, uh, where were we? Um, yes, I do, I do have a neural pistol finished. Sweet. Sweet. But what does it say? Dude, but what does it say? Sweet. <coughs> Let's go and get them sweet mutagens. Excuse me. I'm just here to get paid, man. I'm just here to get paid in reputation and resources. Actually, the main thing is to do the defense to find out where the nest is, because that will help me build my reputation with New Jericho. Which is the only, the only main issue I have at the moment is that I'm struggling to bring up my reputation with New Jericho. It is hard to bring up your reputation with them because the only real way to do it is to just be a dick to everybody else. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. I really hate our new maps though. <clears throat> Man, I don't know why I can't stop coughing. Oh, there's one. There's one. I'm going. Man, they're actually quite close to me. What do we got? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sure I'll stop coughing shortly. Two laser rifle ones and I think that's the enhanced machine gun. Yep, that's very dangerous. Let's show them what we can do. I'm here. Let's show them what we got, sir. Oh, snipers are going to have a good time. He can't. He's paralyzed. You have to be very careful with the dosage. Actually, before I attempt that shot, I think he's got the old pain chameleon torso. Pretty sure. 
pretty sure he's got the old pain chameleon torso, and I'm gonna need to get rid of that first. Ready to engage. No, it's a regen torso. So never mind. <clears throat> okay. All I need is a clear shot. Stupid freaking piece of wood. On the mark. Oh, I tapped that booty. Who cares, man? Burn every point of willpower. Let's go. Do it for the mutagens. The best part is every hit reduces his capability to fight. It's hard to shoot like this. <clears throat> so it's almost like killing them. Oh, missed. Ready to rock, ready to roll. Let's go. High speed, low drag. <clears throat> this is why I was saying before, snipers make better assaults than assaults. Because I can just use quick shot to just shoot this pistol over and over and over into this guy's face. And I can also free, uh... I can also, uh... put a free overwatch on the guy so he can't move. Consider yourself not going anywhere. Oh, me leg. Okay. I was born ready. Oh, lag, lag. Why, why the lag? See, this is such a great weapon, because once you're paralyzed, that's it, you're done. You're done, basically, for such a huge amount of time. Bullseye. Taking aim. This guy will only have one AP. This guy will only have one AP. Potentially, two. And it's like, you know... What are you, uh... I miss? I actually have one AP here. I really don't want to hit that rifle. There we go. <laughs> the funny part is that guy won't trigger Overwatch because he can't move. And I don't think that my my other foot circling here is going to find anything. <clears throat> I guess the only weakness of the Neural Pistol is it's not as accurate as the Laser Pistol. But it's totally worth the trade because any hit with it is going to sap AP from the victim. Please don't kill them. <laughs> if there's if there's a load of disciples here, please don't kill my 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 precious cargo. Precious cargo. <laughs> ah, 
What you gonna do? Nothing. He's paralyzed, but he's still moving. Need a better shot next time. Looks like they got one dude. On my way. You break that shield for me. Oh, we missed. Failed the emperor. Ready, ish. Holy crap, the Evolved Shield is, uh, quite a bit tougher. Ready. I think the laser pistol can penetrate 30 armor. Yes. So, a good point blank shot against the shield. The slow blade penetrates the shield. Um, just pen that shield. Or aim for the arm and get him to drop it. Ah, there's no guarantee I land all all four shots on that. Okay, so in theory now, that shield is busted as a protection. Keep it together, operative. I think what I will do is I will uh, I will just blast a hole in it now. Or not. I don't know. Let's, let's find out if the neural pistol will actually cut through that shield now. It has 30 pen, so it should, in theory. Nope. I just need the right angle. Boom! <clears throat> I 
okay. The core has appeared. <sighs> Missed. Switching ammo. Well, that sucks. Ready, sort of. I didn't even get to, uh... I saw move. What was that? I didn't get to paralyze the guy. Must not blink. You can actually just evac. It's just because he's a little bit too... too close to the enemy for my liking. Oh, if he goes for the shield bearer, I really wouldn't mind that. Oh, he's trying to hand cannon him. Oh, right in the nodules. Oh, feel that paralysis. Oh, he's got no AP left now. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, there's a tyrant over there. Paralyzed. And the funny part is is that if they slowly get out of being paralyzed, like, you know, it's not the biggest deal because <clears throat> It's not the biggest deal. Because even unparalyzed, the most they're gonna have is one AP. What are you gonna do with one AP? for you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. get wrecked. Just need the right angle. Ah, oh, that's a horrible shot. He's dead next turn. Try it. Oh, them beautiful Sinedrin weapons. I'm here. Isn't the other one like in here? Okay, they're both horribly They're both horribly paralyzed right now. Pushing on. Pushing the envelope. Wow, this guy's got two med kids. What a legend. Nice, we win. 
That's an unexpectedly profitable mission. Just imagine snipers with dash just being able to close on you and just neural pistol your sorry ass into the next life. So good. <clears throat> Can fill containment with mutagens. Yes! <laughs> If anything, it's easier to kill them with the friggin' paralyzed pistol than it is with normal weapons. As long as, as long as the shot connects and starts doing paralysis. You know, an enemy with 50 HP left is just as dangerous as one with 500 HP. But an enemy that has been hit repeatedly with a paralyzed pistol has lost so many AP that they're actually progressively less of a threat the more you hit them. <clears throat> and it's not like the uh, paralyzed pistol takes particularly long to quote unquote kill somebody. Sweet, a shotgun and a little help from my friends. Fungal food production? Now. <clears throat> oh, we found the lair as well. I come bearing a message from the voiceless Hierophant. Words do not matter. Everything written is ash. Everything spoken is wind. But your actions show promise. Let the rite of hunger commence. Are you ready to make a sacrifice for our faith? Uh, 50 food, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> the voiceless Hierophant will be pleased. And you will gain new insights and come closer to the perfection of the body. May your journey to the blind legate continue. Ooh, 25 skill points. That's huge. Okay, standard goodies. Ugh, trying to keep New Jericho friendly is hard work. Since they seem to hate everyone. But anyway, there's a layer here. And that's just a straight up happy boost for all concerned. Uh, I think we got time to take down the layer. Layers are not usually difficult to deal with. Oh, they've just given me this tech. No, they haven't. It's uh, partial research. So here's the thing about food production. <clears throat> it's been balanced and rebalanced and all the rest of it, so I don't know actually whether it's worth it or not. But there's one aspect of building food production which I like, and that is you obviously you have a food drain based on how many soldiers you've got and I, I don't know what happens to you if the food runs out but I'm gonna presume that it's bad times but the point I'm just wanting to make here is you always end up having to keep a reserve of two or three hundred food just to make sure that you've got enough food to hold on until you potentially find another source of food So what is good about the um Oh this could be this could be really dangerous actually because it's high threat and it's one of these stupid run through the map missions. Um Lost my train of thought here. Um Building enough farms to just cover your the the uh, cost of your blokes is really helpful. Is really useful because it means that you're safe in the knowledge that you don't have to hold food. 
So if you see a, uh, a soldier and they cost, you know, 940 food, you can just buy them. Without worrying that you need to have a certain amount of food stockpiled. That's the sort of <clears throat> the thing I like about the farms, even if they're not necessarily the most profitable things on earth. Right, we should dumpster this layer, but before we do... Does the game care? I think the game only cares about type, right? It doesn't care about, like, in terms of research... Yeah, in terms of research, it only the game only cares that you have one of each type. So... We can harvest one of these and one of these. <clears throat> While still holding on to one of each of these uh, for viv vivisection purposes. That gives us 142 mutagens to spend. But as it stands, I don't think... <clears throat> Why has this guy got such a weight problem? I don't understand. 5, that's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, I mean, it is correct. <clears throat> heavy weapons are are heavy, as it were. Um, strength to this guy so he's not walking around encumbered just by actually having the basics. I don't think any of this is something I want to put on just yet. <clears throat> I don't feel like the armored head is very good, frankly. You might as well just wear a helmet. The stomper legs are not bad. It's a huge accuracy improvement for a heavy. <clears throat> I think I want to save my mutagen for torsos though. Get. But, uh, yeah, these, uh, assaults can use shotguns by default. It's just that it's just that shotguns are not really that great without um, <clears throat> without the close quarters trait. But I have so many Arnu shotguns lying around now. Okay, none of those helmets are ready yet. I wasn't planning to use these uh, Iconoclausts, but I ended up collecting so many friggin' mags for them that even though I've not, I've not really got any characters that can really 
get get full usage out of them. It's nice to have a backup weapon, and it's nice to have a weapon that is situationally a little bit a little bit different from the uh, the assault rifle. If you find a nice soft low armored point on an enemy and you're quite close to it, the shotgun is a far better weapon. Okay, all right, I'm going to call it because <clears throat> this layer. I don't know if they've redesigned them or not. I don't know what the status is with layers. Whether they're as easy as they used to be, like just charge to the layer bit and, and destroy it. But it's one of these, it's another one of these infinitely respawning enemy missions that I'm sure will make life nice and unpleasant. So. And it's a little bit until infiltrator class research is done and the helmet is done and I can start. <clears throat> turning my uh, my first guy into a uh, into an infiltration specialist. I'm looking forward to it though. I never usually use infiltrators, but they have very they have some very helpful abilities. <clears throat> but just generally speaking, you just don't have the uh, you don't have thief on a sniper. Well, thief is quite a rare trait. And I don't think stealth works without it, personally. I don't think you can get your stealth rating high enough for it to really protect your unit without thief. 25% is just such a huge amount of stealth. Um, I can't remember how much the equipment gives, but... I think it's only something like between 25 and 50 percent, so. That is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.